We're rolling. This is a quick video on how to replace the axle T main inside the module. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start by removing the four screws that hold the T main cover on. If you are at some locations that use <clears throat> a TPM module, there'll be a TPM module cover on yours, and that that is okay. This cover comes off in the same way. There's no need to take the TPM module off. All right, front cover's off. Ultimately, I'm going to be taking this board out. So I'm gonna take two top screws out of this so that I can tilt this down a little bit. So the top screws are much more accessible and easy to get to than the bottoms, at least on the right side of the machine. Sorry about my head being in the way, guys. All right, two top screws are out, and now I can tilt this down to give myself a little bit more space. I'm just gonna start unplugging things. All these things are labeled. Um, so this is SB, <clears throat> SBC port LAN, this is what goes to the outside. This is LAN 2, this is what goes to the inside. This is the bill validator uh, USB port. Um, there's one power connection that comes in from the back of the machine, and you'll notice that this tab points to the top, and we like to say that the tabs, the release tabs, point towards the fuses here. So I'm gonna remove that. Um, I don't think that I need to remove this at this point in time. This small wire that you need to be careful with is the speaker wire. Um, there are several alarm wires, and what you'll see is that they are, this is alarm, they're all labeled. The first one is alarm three at the top. So it goes three, two, and one. It is important that you get those like in the correct order. Um, the other thing that needs to come off of here is this is the USB connector for the top. All these are USB ports. It doesn't matter kind of which one you put it back in. Um, this is the LVDS connector, which actually goes to the monitor at the top. And for the most part, we're kind of done disconnecting things. I'm gonna leave these last ones on here and we'll get to them in a minute. You're kind of four screws away at this point. And so these are the screws on the bottom. I tilted this, the reason I tilted this down was to be able to get to these at the top. Okay, and so now, and now this piece is loose. So you'll replace this with the replacement part and it's just easier to migrate these cables over without having all the other stuff to work with, right? So you'll, you're essentially just plugging these back, you know, where you got them on this board and then the assembly is just that in reverse. So we'll stick this back in, we'll get it underneath the cables. <clears throat> I've made a little bit of a mess with screws down here. Um, not sure I'm gonna put that all back together but for the video, but but this is what that'll look like when you're done. And then you'll just reconnect your other cables. We'll go through that quickly. I'll get to the top ones after the video. But so here, the easiest thing to do is route this power one first. And again, you wanna make sure that the tab is going to the top. So we didn't really mess with this other one, so there's nothing to worry about there. And um, we're gonna find our three COM ports, which actually go to the alarm. So again, this is COM2, this is COM3, and this is COM1. And so those get stacked here, here, and here. I may be off on this by one plug. Maybe all these should be one more up. No. That's in the diagram though that we have. So can't really mess that up badly. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the speaker cable back. I'll connect the LVDS cable back. This one's more difficult. You just kind of have to get it lined up. It's pretty dark in here. <clears throat> Nothing worse than fumbling through a cable on an instructional video. Um, and the USB cable is the last one. And that can go in any of these top headers. It's not, that is not super critical. And then we'll finish off with just getting the USB plug back in. It goes to the back one, although it doesn't matter. And then COM cable two and COM one. And that is a T-main change.